guys hope y'all having an awesome day so today we're going to make a trending vest or a peplum shirt or a jacket or however you want to make it i have spandex material so it's not really the material that i don't want to make out of it but i just kind of want to show y'all how it is to put together and i'll probably re revisit this at a later date so this piece right here it's my handy dandy piece these is my measurements i will call this my bias piece so when you take this bias piece right and if you want to make the half vest you will cut this side off see that you will cut this side off and you will just wind up just having this piece okay this will be the side vest and then the back will go on the fold and you will have two pieces. You will cut a belt and a peplum. I'm going to show you the pieces, okay? So, this will be your front piece. So, you see that? That will be your front piece for your vest. You cut that. And you're actually cutting off the arm curve. You're getting rid of this. Because it don't have any side seams. See this? You're getting rid of this piece. So that piece is going to, you're going to get rid of it, okay? And then when you cut your back piece, you cut it on the fold, okay? Cut it on the fold. So you will have one of these and you will cut two of these. And then you line them up at the seams. So this part together, the sides is open, okay? So... One back piece, two front pieces. Then you will cut a belt, as long as you want it, a belt. And then you will cut a peplum, which is a circle. So you will put this on your fabric, depending on the length you want. And you'll fold your fabric four times and you'll get a full circle but i wind up cutting it into two pieces because that's going to give you a nice for the vest okay so these are the pieces then you'll put it together so you see this this will be the vest front and back you'll connect the top pieces together now, like I say, this particular uh, fabric is a spandex fabric, so I would like to use a stiff fabric. It would be double with a lining. So since I didn't have enough fabric, what I'm going to wind up doing is taking the leftover pieces and I'm going to make bias pieces. And I'm going to close off all the ends with the bias pieces, okay? The sides are made to be open, okay? Then remember I, I showed the belt. So this will be the belt. And I will connect to this peplum, okay? And then I will connect it to the back of the shirt, boom. And then I will connect it to the front of the shirt, boom, boom, connect it. And it's got its pins in it, so I'm not going to be able to tie it too good. And then you could tie it off. But these ends will be closed. You'll connect it here. And if you don't want it this long, you make it shorter so this will go you put your, your another shirt on whatever type of shirt you want to wear you're going to connect this to the back you can wear it with some jeans or or whatever however you want to wear it. but it'll be connected to the peplum and if you don't want it to be uh, spandex then you use a stiff fabric and then use the front and back but that would be how easy it is to make these this will be considered a top but if you guys wanted to make the vest jackets with the uh, interfacing and different stuff like that in it, this is the piece that you will cut. And then to close this off, if you don't want the peplum, you would just do a waistband going all the way around. And that's what you would zip or button. And if y'all been seeing them trending vest jackets, vest shirts trending around, yeah, you can um you can make this. It's that simple. So just take that piece. So all you're doing is eliminating the side. You cutting that out. 
you're doing your waistband and if you're gonna do it with a stiffer fabric make your waistband meet right here then you can put your zip on and zip it up and you'll use the inner facing and you'll use the uh what is it? the batting you'll use the batting you'll need about get about four yards because one layer you will line it out and then you will put your you'll put your batting on and then you'll take a ruler and you're right on the batting and then when you sew a line right across that's how you get that puffiness so if, if you want to turn these into these puff vests but don't use spandex material use a cotton material if you want going to wind up turning into these puffy vests jackets and different stuff like that and then you will do your waistband and then you just zip it the sides will be out you know what i mean the sides is designed to be out but you're going to connect it going all the way around see how you'll connect it the waistband line it up connect it and that is how you make these vest shirts vest peplums puffy vest jackets this is the pattern piece you would need this would be your back this would be your front for the vest part then you'll do the measurements for if you want to make it like a peplum then you double the measurements for the waist like if you want it like this but i like to be honest i just was trying to show you guys somebody asked about it and um i wouldn't necessarily probably make it with this because it's so flimsy and i do make these peplum shirts but i probably wouldn't make the shirt vest thing like this so we can revisit this at a later date but i just wanted to show y'all how easy it is to make that and then you just do your belt and you'll take it around going all the way around and then you will connect it and if you're doing it with the stiff fabric see that you'll sew it down connect it and it's going to stop like right here and you button it up you put your button zippers or whatever you chose to do so i hope that that is an easy way of just showing you guys how easy it is to make those you just take that bias piece and you're eliminating the sides you're cutting off the sides where you would normally do you're cutting off the sides where you would normally put sleeves it won't have no sleeves and the sides will be open but you're connecting it to your waistband but these are those pieces and do your measurements definitely do your measurements do your measurements because you want it you want to have enough room to go around and depending on the fabric some fabric if you wanted to curve around your breasts you will have to do the breast darts so to make it lay like that so if the fabric is really really stiff you will do breast dots but if you're doing a puffy jacket you know you don't mind and you're gonna have the interfacing and the, the the batting in there you really won't have to do the dark so i hope that that helped you guys to make these puffy jackets reversible vests with the peplum or with no peplum but that's just how easy it'd be to make that vest thanks for watching you guys have a happy happy what is today brain freeze you guys have a happy thursday bye